Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Hey, hello, hello. Come on in. S-O-N day. Like, share, like, share. Y'all know how we do when we get together on Sunday. It is a wonderful, beautiful day in Houston, Texas. Uh, so I'm happy to be on with each and every one of you as we like to get together and have conversations on Sunday. Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Um, man, there has been a lot going on. And so I definitely, you know, still wanted to take the time out for us to share and to have our conversations. Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, hey. Happy Sunday. Hello, Samantha. How you doing today? Hey. All right. Let me see. I don't think the lighting is good, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come on inside. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hello, hello, hello. Like, share, like, share. Happy Sunday. All right, y'all. As you can see, I'm not home. I'm over Willie's. We are having family time. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's going on, Dexter? How are you, Nicole? Hey, Catalina. Hey, there's Trina. Hey. Guys, you know, the topic we're talking about today is a question that I've been getting here recently. And in a time such as this, should I plant, should I water, or should I uproot? And what are we talking about? We're talking about investment. We're talking about investment. And there are so many people who, in, in crisis time, you know, have a lot of hard decisions to make for their family. And um, we are typically taught to kind of, um, I guess there is a natural reaction to be fearful, right? Natural reaction to be fearful. However, when those of you who I'm encouraging you to not just have on your um, consumer hat, I want you to have on your business hat. I want you to think as businessmen and women for your family because your family needs you to think that way right now. Your family do not need any of you thinking that my employer is going to bail me out right now or thinking that this person is going to help me, that person is going to help me. I want you to have the mentality right now that I got to do it for me. I got to think my thoughts have to be on point for me and my family. And that's really the mentality I want you to, to have in this moment. And so when I talk about planting, I'm talking about, you know, a lot of times, guys, we don't put a seed anywhere. You know, we're not putting our seed anywhere. And I remember, um, you know, in 2014, when I was fired, Mr. Bradley said, trust, trust in, in your process, trust in you. And, and guys, that's what I had to learn to do was to trust in my ability. See, many of you are smart. You're, you're very intelligent, even courageous. Um, you have talents that you bring to the table. But how are you taking the seed and where are you putting it in terms of um, making a, a, an investment towards you and your family? How are you using that talent um, and, and really developing it? developing that talent. That's what you have to think about. Mr. Bradley told me, he said, you're talented, but you're not monetizing your talent. And that was the best criticism I could have had at that time. See, it's not that I am any different than anybody else. My crisis just happened at a different time. I had my crisis in 2014. It woke me up. And in that crisis, I said, I will never let an employer play with my financial future ever again. So the crisis that I experienced in 2014 is what people are experiencing now. It's the same thing. I just said to myself, that's it. You're not going to fire me again and I'm going to lose my home, lose my car, lose my dignity. It's not going to happen. So what I went through in 2014 is the same exact thing that people are going through right now. I just decided to change things, you know, and so I decided to plant and get into a business, be my own boss. I just decided, and guys, I don't know about you, but I was so inspired by looking at that documentary from Madam C.J. Walker. And when I saw 
that documentary, Self Made, um, she, she just really had tenacity. And everybody told her that she was not good enough, not good enough. You dreaming too big. You thinking too much of yourself. But she decided to plant her little money and go to work. And that's where we're talking about water. Now, should you plant? Should you make investments? They say, well, the stock market is affordable now. Take a risk on some of that. Plant in a business. I don't care what business you get in. It doesn't have to be my business. It could be any business. I mean, some of you have been thinking about having online businesses, boutiques, and um, different things that you are talented in doing. Just whatever you can do online, you should be doing it online. People, if you don't have a dot com, you have a not com in 2020. You got to have online presence and you should be making e-commerce. You should be participating in e-commerce. That's just freaking logical right now, period. So I don't care what people do. I just happen to think that I have a great business opportunity because it's in travel. And right now, people can be learning the business. We have training from masters. We have tons and tons and tons of training from masters that you could be mastering your craft until travel bans are lifted. You can become, you can come out of this thing smoking. And then when people are ready to go again, now you have the skill set. Because there is a time that you have to develop. There's a, there's a time where you're learning and there's a time you're earning. Make this your learning season so that when you come out of this, you're earning. I just love my business model. But it's not about that. It's about what can you do online? Because everybody can be on the internet right now. That's nothing is stopping you. Corona cannot stop you from making money online right now. So let's do that. Okay. But we're talking about water. What is water? Water is the work. Water is the work. We're talking about planting and having the insight to plant. You should plant, but you should also water your seed. And some people, I, I would say the majority of people have decent work ethic. I would say the majority of people have decent work. Are there some lazy folks? Yes. So water your plant. Right now, I'm working harder than ever. I am on webinars. I'm on conference calls. I'm on three-way calls. I don't have a problem watering my seed. I don't. I don't have a problem going to work. See, don't let this crisis make you stagnant. Don't let this crisis cause you to just be a deer in headlights. And, and you can't see the light of day. You stuck to CNN 24-7. You just watching, watching, watching the news. No, I mean, that's not watering your seed. So you need to water. The water is the work. Put in the work. I don't care what it is. Put in the work. Because the only way that you and your family truly will win is putting in the work. So it's very, very important that we water. Okay? Very important. Now, lastly, uproot. Let's talk about uproot because there are people who get into business or get into the stock market or they get into things and they get fearful and they uproot the seed. I cannot understand how you would have courage enough to plant. You would have work ethic enough to water and then you go and uproot your seed. You quit your business. You quit your dreams because you're fearful. You completely go uproot your seed because of fear. Guys, I don't know if you remember the story of Ron Wayne. Don't be Ron Wayne. Ron Wayne was the third partner who partnered with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak for Apple. Now, they respected Ron because Ron was a little older than them at the time. And Ron had business sense. He knew business. They didn't. They just were, you know, techies. So they trusted Ron knew the business side of things. Um, Ron had a family. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak did not. They were young college kids with innovation. But here's where Ron messed up. He started to let his mind take over and where it got scary in the beginning of Apple in the 70s. It got a little scary. Things started taking a turn, not for the good, but maybe for the worse. And Ron Wang took out his stock, his partnership, and left the company, sold completely out because of fear. And I think about the fact that he uproot his seed in Apple. Do y'all know that Ron Wayne, right? Google him. If you don't know God, Ron, Google him. It's shocking the way people uproot their seed like that. And Mr. Ron Wayne is on a fixed income right now. To this day, he's on a fixed income. 
He would have not been a millionaire, y'all. He would have been a billionaire. And I say that because whatever it is that you in right now, you have courage enough to plan it, see it through, water it, work it, water it in the dark. Because when you plant a seed, it goes underground. When you plant a seed, it goes underground. Remember the story of the Chinese bamboo tree, y'all? It takes five years of watering it before it even cracks the surface. So I need everybody to understand that uprooting is never the solution. When you uproot your seed, now you, you, there are some people who stay in the planting phase their whole life. They plant, they uproot. They plant, they uproot. And they plant and they uproot. When are you ever going to... Madam C.J. Walker, this lady had haters on every... I just looked at that movie, y'all. I just got so inspired. She had the, the, the competition lady hating on her. She had the son-in-law hating on her. Then she had the husband began to hate on her. Then she had the husband's mistress, who was her number one salesperson, hate on her. And through it all, she kept persevering, had a fire, ruined her whole... Uh, she kept coming up, getting up. She did not stop. She did not pull her money out. And they were in a recession. She built her empire in a recession. And I just, list, I looked at that. That movie couldn't have came out at a better time. Because I looked at that and I said, oh, we on, we on track, Lord. We on track. Because we right now, we grinding in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, the face of danger. We're not having fear in the face of danger. And all we're doing is helping more people, helping more people. People that ain't turn their computer on is using the internet and making money right now. People who ain't never used their computer is looking at the computer like, ooh, I need to make some of this computer money. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if you never thought about working for yourself, you never thought about using the internet, this is the time to learn. This is the time to bet on you. This is the time to plant. This is the time to water. And God forbid any of us be a Ron Wayne and uproot. Now Ron Wayne is on a fixed income and he could have been a billionaire in Apple. So I'm just saying, y'all, should you plant, water or uproot? Which one? And I think all of us need to definitely do the first two and forget the last. Hello, 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 Jacqueline. Oh, that is my Sora Rashiba McGowan. Shannon Adams. Hey, superstar. Hey, Miss Erica. How are you today? Judy Harris Van Dyke. Cheryl Cobreth. How are you? I see you, sister. Nicole, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? I see all of my uh, brothers and sisters in success. And, and here's today what I need you to understand is that I don't need you to do it for me. I don't need you to do none of this for me. Six years ago, my life changed and I began to, to be on a journey of entrepreneurialism and I messed it up real good before I got it right. I need you to do it for you because you being a part of what I'm doing or whoever shares this video, it doesn't, it's, it's not necessarily changing their life. Had Mr. Bradley, Mr. Bradley was a millionaire. When he signed me up for this business, he was still making over $83,000 a month. Me, I was making $0 a month. So a lot of people think, you know, as, as people benefited from me, I don't need anybody to do it for me. I need you to do it for you. Because right now, it's not if you're going to come through this. The question is how you're going to come through this. Think about that. Not if you're going to, you're going to come through. The majority of us going to come through. We're going to be okay. We're quarantined. You're going to be okay. But how are you going to come through this? What's going to be on the other side of this in terms of finances? The corona will kill more people financially than physically. And today, I'm just saying, plant a seed. I need the next 10 people to comment below, plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. I will plant a seed and help some people. If you get in this video, whoever shared this with you, somebody's trying to help you. And I need you to take all your stinking thinking right now about whatever you thought about home-based business, about working from home, about the internet. You need to take all that and discard it because now we have to think a new way because it's a new day. 
So God bless everybody. I pray for you and your family that you have peace right now, that you not panic, but you prepare for the next phase of your life. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye-bye.